at a rally for his presidential bid late in 2008 campaign, an audience member backing the Arizona Republican tells him she doesn't trust his opponent, then send Barack Obama and insists that the Illinois Democrat is an Arab. McCain didn't let her finish. Instead, he shook his head, took the microphone away from her and did something that would have seemed unimaginable during the most recent presidential election, he politely defended his opponent. The short exchange was a shining moment for McCain that gained attention at the time. Instead of indulging in his supporters' falsehood, he corrected her and showed grace toward his political foe. And it wasn't an isolated moment. At the same rally, the crowd earlier had booed McCain's response to another supporter who said that Obama cohorts with domestic terrorists and that Americans would have to fear an Obama presidency. McCain said Obama was a decent person and that there would be no reason to be scared if he won the White House. McCain displayed character and civility that day, as he showed similarly throughout much of his military and political career. Clips from that rally had periodically resurfaced even before his death, as he publicly feuded with President Donald Trump who in his short political career has become known for mocking and insulting his opponents and encouraging his supporters to do the same. The moments were guaranteed to be shared again following his death on Saturday. Still, context is needed about that rally and the vitriol toward Obama that surfaced at it. Palin's speeches also often inspired rage, with some in her audiences yelling kill him, treason or terrorist at the mention of Obama. Some speakers at McCain-Palin events used his middle name, Hussein in what was clearly intended as a way to question his patriotism and which also fueled the Bertha conspiracy theory. This sleight of hand at once synchronizes with the poisonous Obama is a Muslim email blasts and shifts the brand of terrorism from Bill Ayers's Vietnam-era variety to the radical Islamic threats of today, Rich wrote. And even as McCain's responses to the barbs directed at Obama during the Minnesota rally ten years ago garner renewed praise, some noted that he could have made a broader point. When the woman refers to Obama as an Arab and McCain says, no, he's a decent family man, citizen, without mentioning that, that Arabic-speaking people can also be decent citizens. Eventually, in his memoir, McCain revealed that he regretted choosing Palin as his running mate instead of then send Joe Lieberman of Connecticut, who labeled himself at that point an independent Democrat. Despite their contentious 2008 campaign, McCain and Obama maintained a mutual respect for each other. While conceding to Obama on the night of the election, McCain stopped his supporters from booing his opponent and said he admired how Obama inspired the hopes of so many millions of Americans. McCain has reportedly asked Obama to give a eulogy at his funeral. In a statement released after McCain's death, Obama's regard for the senator was clear. Few of us have been tested the way John once was, or required to show the kind of courage that he did. But all of us can aspire to the courage to put the greater good above our own, Obama wrote. At John's best, he showed us what that means.